Okay, you guys, welcome to my third winter outlook, um, preliminary outlook, that is. Um, this is the temperatures. Um, I do think that when we get these cold shots, they're going to come basically from here, um, or even here. But what they're going to do is they're going to kind of slide through and uh, just exit out the east coast and kind of uh, go up. But, so... We're going to uh, get all these areas well below average. We're going to have a kind of a uh, bridging issue here in the, um, this above average area. So that could uh, lead to a little less snow here. A lot of these ski resorts might not, uh, it might not be good news. Um, but for ski resorts on the eastern part of the United States, that is good news that they will um, get some cold shots. Now let's look at some of the uh, precipitation. Also, like I said, below average precipitation here in these ski resorts up in uh, Washington State. Then, um, the good news, some precipitation is going to uh, hit California. Then we're going to get some also a lot of precipitation up the East Coast. The well above average precipitation is kind of going to want to stay to the south, not quite make it up the coast. If anything, maybe heading out... Um, before I can even get to the northern portions of the outer banks, it's going to be going out the sea. Um, below average in this zone, not really going to affect slightly below, won't do much. Okay, now let's look at the tall um, snowfall compared to normal. Um, slightly below average snow, like I was saying, slightly below average in this zone. These are the zones that basically there's no rain in the winter. These, area, uh, these areas typically do get uh, rain in the winter, but since it's going to be colder, a lot of that precipitation will be in the form of snow. So even though we have below average precipitation, we're not above average snow due to that colder air. Now, um, like I said, this is slightly below average here in this light blue, dark blue, above average. Um, I know in my local area in Norfolk, our average is 6. 8 to 10 inches isn't that much of a fall shot for this winter, and, um, yeah, so, I'm looking at probably a quarter of your average snow in this above average, uh, area, so you get 20 inches, well, 5, uh, extra inches isn't that much, uh, of a long shot, um, but slightly below this zone and above average in this zone, with no significant snow likely in, uh, below this red dashed area. Let's look at the primary type of precipitation here. Um, green, rain, pink, mix, blue, all snow. Sorry, I forgot to write on that. But, um, so that just gives you an idea. These, all these pink areas, most of the east coast is under mixed precipitation type. And then snow. In these zones, rain for uh, for the California coast, going uh, all the way into like North Carolina. But keep in mind, this doesn't uh, this doesn't have anything to do with mountains. So if you have mountains in here, probably not going to get any mixed events um, in the high high mountains in this zone. So just keep this in mind and kind of moderate it for uh, if you live on mountains. All right, let's look at the overall forecast. My favorite part. Alright, and uh, not much has changed. Uh, some things have changed. Drought relief in this zone. Less snow in pretty much all of this orange area. You're going to probably see a little less snow uh, than you typically would. Pink winter battle zone. Rain, snow, mix, and ice are going to be your uh, winter or precipitation types. No snow, more rain. Uh, that Obviously take that with moderation. You could get some snow. Not likely though. Um, frequent cold shots in this purple zone, more snow in this blue zone, like I was uh, going over that whole below average precipitation, but below average temperatures could uh, lead to more snow in these areas still. These areas less snow than average, though, because of the fact that they're primarily all snow in these areas, and there's going to be, um, there's going to be below average precipitation. Alright, frequent snowstorms within this dark blue area. Um, frequent snowstorms compared to your average. That's what I put it as. So no matter where you live, it's going to seem more frequent than average. Obviously in here, two to three snowstorms would be frequent. Um, but in here, two to three 
two to three snowstorms will be like, holy crap, that's not a lot of snowstorms. But if, um, if you got frequent snowstorms compared to normal, I mean, that's a lot of snowstorms. And then potential for a few major snowstorms, so that one to two major snowstorms throughout this zone, and major compared to your um, average, obviously. Um, major, what would I consider major here in Norfolk? Um, anything above eight inches is major for me. Um, we got a uh, nine inch storm uh, last year, that's major. And obviously, in snowfall isn't just what makes it major, you can get some major winds, that makes it a major snowstorm. Um, we had a really windy three inch snowstorm last year, giving us like 40 mile per hour gusts. That's a significant snowstorm just because of the fact that it, it had so much wind and so much force. Uh, for me, that just makes it seem very, very powerful. Um, and also, uh, like that with that 10 inch storm, that's well enough for it to be um, significant. But I've gotten some 18 inch storms in the past uh, 2010, 2011, December. Um, that was the Boxing Day blizzard. That was a good one. That was a good, good, good storm. Um, probably somewhere from 16 to 18 inches. I was a kid then. Um, well, <laughs> sounds funny, but um, I was. I consider myself a teenager now that I'm, uh, that I'm 15, but I was about, um, 10 or 11 then, uh, I was, um, almost turning 12, so, yeah, I wasn't a teenager yet in my eyes, um, okay, back to weather, um, so, and then for me, it probably takes about, um, like 15 inches to make it major, so kind of just whatever you consider major, as long as it's not too extreme, is probably not a far fetched thing for this area. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. This has been my third winter uh, preliminary outlook. Now, my official first forecast is going to be coming out sometime around the 20th, like 15th to 20th of October. That's when I'm going to start making like the legit stuff. Like, this is really my forecast. Then by um, like, November 20th, that's when my official, that's the last forecast. That one's where, uh, you, you're basically gonna get the best stuff I can give. Um, but this is the best stuff I can give right now. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe for, uh, more updates on this winter. Uh, it's looking like it could be a pretty crazy one. Um, it has the potential. Um, not saying that it's definitely gonna be a freaking, you know insane winter, but it could be. It definitely has uh, the characteristics right now that could um, cause a winter like that to happen. Um, Alright guys, um, uh, if, you haven't, if this is your first uh, winter video you've seen by me, go ahead and uh, watch all my winter thoughts episodes and all my uh, one and two preliminary um, winter outlooks. Uh, that'll help. Alright, thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye now.